Julian Assange has been fighting for years against being sent to the United States, where he could be jailed for life if convicted on spying charges. But why does the U.S. want him so badly? For starters, he made this video public. Light them all up. It shows a U.S. military helicopter gunning down 11 civilians, including two journalists during the Iraq war. The Apache crew then fire on a van that tries to rescue the injured. The video was just one of hundreds of thousands of classified documents published on Julian Assange's website, WikiLeaks, that exposed U.S. secrets in Iraq, Afghanistan and Guantanamo. The UK-based Australian citizens had become the most famous hacker, activist, publisher, and he was quickly in the sights of American prosecutors. WikiLeaks walks like a hostile intelligence service and talks like a hostile intelligence service. Just months following the video's release, Assange was added to the Interpol most wanted list for sex crimes after two women in Sweden accused him of rape. In 2012, a UK court ruled he would be extradited. There is unity in the oppression. Fearing that Sweden would turn him over to the US, Assange took refuge in Ecuador's London embassy. He ended up living inside for seven years. During that time, he fell a fool of the US Democratic Party. He published emails allegedly stolen by Russian hackers that were seen as damaging to Hillary Clinton's chances to win the 2016 election. Clinton accused him of colluding with Russia to help Trump win. Then, under a new Ecuadorian president, his asylum was revoked and the embassy kicked him out for what they said was poor behavior and meddling in foreign states. London police immediately arrested him for breaching bail in the rape case which Sweden had seen drop. The US had requested his extradition to face charges for violating the Espionage Act and for conspiring to hack US government computers with Chelsea Manning, the US soldier who spent seven years in jail until President Obama commuted her sentence. If convicted, Assange could face as a prison term up to 175 years. A UK judge initially blocked the extradition, saying Assange would be a suicide risk in a US jail. But as US authority promised, he wouldn't experience harsh treatment, British courts cleared the way pending appeals. To his supporters, he's a hero who exposed US war crimes and made whistleblowing easy, which should be protected under the First Amendment. But his opponents say his conduct was reckless, criminal, and harmed US national interests. And for that, it seems, the US will not let it go.